Hi everyone, wish you very happy new year 2025. Today I'm super happy to share one of our student report. Let's see what he has created using Power BI. Now I'm really impressed with his work. So let's quickly check it out, right? So this is the first report that he has created. Let's click on it and it is going to redirect us into the Power BI report that he has created. Let's click on uh, zoom full screen. Now you can see a company logo, which is called Xcrip, which is a mobile case maker company. So he has created a reports on that data sets. So if you click on this logo, you can see the dashboard is loading pretty much nice. And uh, you can see the design, the colors, the layout, everything looking really great and nice. We have a, you know, filter pen here, which is kind of where you can filter the data. I mean, as a users, let's see, you want to see the data by specific country. You can select it here and you will see the dashboard will reflect something like that, right? So we have the filter here. We have the last data refresh, which is here. So this is great. Now, the more impressive thing is that if you see here, we do have something called a revenue target. So this one is based on the last month revenue. So whatever the last month revenue was, so times 1.5 times, I think something based on that he has created these measures and he has come up with this sliders. So usually user will be able to kind of slide in more if in case they wanna kind of deep down into a specific month you can see, right? The most important thing is that the end user has to understand what the story you're trying to tell using the data, right? Using this dashboard, right? So now good thing is that it also has this on off uh, options. So if you click on it, it's going to change into the darker version. So I really like this concept because some people may prefer this one because this is a good for the eyes, right? So some people may prefer the darker one. Some people may prefer the lighter one, right? So create this is, is kind of really challenging, but he has created it also managed to kind of, you know, work with all the colors. So I'm kind of pretty happy. And the second most important thing is, I guess, this KPI card, which compared the revenue with the last year and then compare with the current year, then tell the uh, percentage chance. And accordingly, it gives this up and down arrow sign and the colors as well. OK, if the change is kind of less then it will change to the red colors. Right. So everything remains same here. You can see you can also, I guess, filter by uh, any, any, you know, pretty much any chart here. One more thing which is uh, interesting that is a filter pen. So there is a filter pen using this filter pen, you would be able to kind of filter the data. Okay. So if in case you want to filter further, so you can click here and uh, you know, you can filter pretty much by all the possible options, maybe the marketplace, right? You can select it from here and you can filter the data, right? The second uh, dashboard, which we have here is, which is going to be the product analysis. So if you click on the product analysis, if in case you are working as a maybe, or, you know, into the product, then you can analyze this chart here. You can identify what is the total orders, total returns, and how things are going based on the different, different category levels and how profits are going in the category levels, how returns are going in the category levels. So top selling product and top return product. I think this makes it really interesting because uh, to create it, you need to write a uh, kind of measures to find out the top selling product uh, so far right now this will also work with the filters if you are selecting the data for a specific year this is going to give you the top product for that specific year or that specific category right if you just select the watch category you will see the product will change like if you select maybe a different category you can see the products are changing right if you select maybe laptop you will see different product is getting more sale and different product is getting you know highest return right and the last thing which is this uh, which is called this matrix now this matrix makes it really interesting and easy to understand the data so if you see based on the product you can analyze the data which product has the highest return if you click here the highest return is getting red colors so i think this is having highest return and anything that has a lesser return that is good that is getting green colors this clearly explain like what is going on if you want to see the profit so you select the profit and you analyze the different different product which has a good profit which has a bad profit right i mean less profit correct same way you can see the revenue also the colors is kind of changing so which is making it dynamically interesting i would say let's go ahead and see the second project and if you want to learn power bi from me and you want to kind of build uh, different different projects and you want to learn power bi from me you can check the link in the bio and you would be able to basically learn each and everything in Power BI by completing, uh, you know, few projects, right? So reach out to me or check the link in the bio. So let's go ahead and see the second project that he has done. I am super excited for the second project as well. So here is the link for the second project. Let's click on it. And this is based on a retail uh, sale, which is called Costco. You already know the company, right? So let's click on this company icon and it's going to load the projects, which is kind of making it really smooth and interesting, I would say. 
So right now, if you see here, we have this simple one page dashboard, I guess, and uh, we do have again here the filter pen, which is going to give us a different, different filter options. And uh, we also have the KPI. So which is kind of uh, pretty much interesting. If you check 2021, if you see the profit is more, but uh, the revenue is kind of, uh, you know, less compared to the last year, right? If you select 2022, so here the revenue has increased by 62 percent the profit has increased by 47 percent the total quantity has increased because uh, the, the revenue has increased right so same way you can analyze by different years maybe in 2023 you can see the revenue has decreased and uh, 2024 so this kpa makes the dashboard really interesting and eye-catching because here they can take a quick decision the end users right we do have uh, different different regions and uh, their profit and uh, their uh, revenue, how things are going, in which regions we are having good profit and uh, which region we are having you know, less profit compared to the another regions. Now, if you see here in the West, we have higher sale, which is kind of, I think, uh, up, up to million, but the revenue is kind of, uh, the profit is kind of maybe 40% here, right? But if you see something like this or maybe this or this, if you see the revenue and the profit seems like 70%, right? So some regions we have better profits. Again, here we have uh, revenue and target line charts. Uh, I really like this layout and this zoom sliders because a user can kind of go much deeper if they want to go, right? We also do have something called tooltip where you can see more information about like the total revenue and total profit, which I guess makes it really interesting, right? Let's go ahead and see the rest of the things. We do have a target based on the orders, like what was your target, right? So you select different years, I guess it is kind of also changing, right? The target is also changing dynamically, which is making it interesting. We do have the segment based on the segment you can analyze it and you can see everything is getting changed so nicely he has added this map chart which again explain where we have more sales where we have less sales so the higher the red is uh, more the sales the lower the red is the less the sales and i guess these are no sales where you see these gray colors same way you have the matrix where you have the quantity and based on the quantity you can analyze different different products based on the profit we can analyze based on the orders we can analyze i would say out of 10 i would be giving nine and he has done absolutely fantastic job and he has showcased his power base skills through these two projects and i really wish him best so that's it for this video guys thank you so much for watching the video till here i wish you again happy new year if you want to learn power bi and sql from me just check the link in the video descriptions or reach out to me in the instagram have a good day take care bye bye